your next fight, right? Let's say, because we can't really control your contract and stuff like that, but you for sure have one more. And for your next fight, um, I was looking at the UFC 308 card, I believe. There's a lot of Russians on there. Would you be interested in fighting there in like October or do you want to fight sooner than that? Uh, where is that? Let me look it up because I took a screenshot. That is the um, Max Holloway fight, though. I think that's in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is cool. I like Vegas. So you got UFC 308, Chopuria Holloway in October. And yeah, I believe that's in Las Vegas. I'm not or sure. You also, so... got, you also got UFC 307 on October 5th, but that might be a little bit more booked up. You see, the problem is, so they were, the UFC were so nice to me. I I, I believe it's might be, per, I, I'm not sure if I can say it openly, but I believe it's probably Sean Shelby. So <laughs> thank you. Thank to him. So they gave me a fight that soon. So, but I'm not sure. So it's a lot of fighters. I'm not sure if it's nice to give me again the fight that soon. So I see. If it's, I I'm really glad you and some maybe some other fans would like to see me often, and I would like to fight often. Now, <laughs> now I would like to fight often, but I don't. I, I'm not sure if it's like nice. It's a way how it works. So because it's a lot of other fighters, and uh, but we'll see. So I think I have a meeting with my manager, uh, not Uriah, other manager, on. Uh, Thursday, we'll see what he say. We'll see what Uriah say. We'll see what UC say. And, but I'm ready to go. I already healed up. So when I just get back, the first the first night home, I felt like back in kickboxing times. My 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 legs was swelled up so bad. I'm like, oh shit, I'm I'm kickboxer again <laughs> because I never felt it uh, during my MMA journey. It was first time. <laughs> yes, those are crazy leg kicks you're taking. And I just want to put something out there, just because um. It's kind of a weird topic, and you and you opened it up a little bit. So DC, uh, Daniel Cormier, he says that he hates it when when fighters say that they'll just do what the UFC will give them. But you're you're offering another perspective where you're saying like, I want to be respectful to the matchmakers. I don't want to seem like I'm demanding things. So this seems to be a fine line. Maybe you gotta run it by Uriah and be like, Uriah, do I need to uh, make a call out or do I need to like be respectful to the matchmakers? Because DC is very like expressive he hates like what you just said he hates it <laughs> i see i'm sorry yeah. daniel <laughs> just, so the first of all daniel is a legend and yes. he's american so he's it's a very different smart guy thing. yeah so i i'm really trying to be american i love to be american i'm americanized enough but i still uh who i am so and it's like i grew up being uh, appreciate the things people give it to me so my grandmom raised me so that's it so my grandma will be a main hero for me forever right same thing as i came here you see like that's this house look that's my house i have this house because i i have made it in uc so i get the bonus every time when i wasn't losing before the last fight i got the bonus so i really feel like ucpi they like it just it's amazing how they good with me it's like they're such amazing people it's just I, I wish I could pay back. <laughs> so that's the problem is so I can't even pay back to them. Uh, uh, so and uh, only one thing I do have is appreciate them, right? <laughs> so and I appreciate it. So I really thankful. So I just I never felt any like like that was never wasn't like they not fair with me, but they not honest to me or like they bad to me. So they always been good to me. Why would I be not good? So and then it, it, I'm still not understand. So it's not funny. Like I I see a lot of um, like uh, how it calls uh, the guys who do some an, an analysis like whatever like in a, a, a analyst whatever. So they they look at the fight. They talk out loud to some of them. Like probably never fought before. I like so I'm fighting my whole life, and I openly can say I I still not get it. I still not understand a lot of things about MMA, but like if you ask me like who's better, like uh, John Jones or Islam Mahachev, I still would struggle to answer. It's like because like it's so hard. Like as more I know about MMA, as more I realize I don't know anything. So and I believe so. You see, it's the biggest company. They already succeeded. They created a lot of stars. Some some fighters maybe create themselves, but they would never do it without UFC, right? Like McGregor, for example. McGregor, yes, great, great superstar. One of the main names in the MMA. But will be he that famous without UFC? I don't know. So you see that it's, it's hard to say. So that's why I just give respect. 
to people who good to me. If UFC would be bad to me, maybe I would talk shit about them. <laughs> but they they've been good to me, so why would say something bad? Sorry, Daniel. I just it's this word. So you, when you're nice to me, I'm always nice to you. But if you're bad to me, okay, maybe I could be bad to you. But it's, it's just how it's work for me. That's it. And you feel like it it might be a little disrespectful making a demand demanding the UFC make you do something. The two things. First of all, I believe it would be disrespectful to people who give me respect, who take care of me. It's the first. But second, I don't know what's better. So if I would if I if I would know 100% okay give me this fight give me this give make this if I knew for sure this better for me maybe I would stay strong and on my my side like oh give me a Chase Cooper main event in Sacramento and I knew for sure it will, will work out we're going to make money because I in the, you know what in fact actually I would say I don't think it's like it's uh victim position on my side it's it's actually i feel like i'm part of this business so and i want to make for ufc money too like i want to make sure ufc sell my fights i feel in this case i feel like part of it like i'm businessman too right. you know what I mean? well in so, that case go finish your thought finish your thought yeah no, yeah that's what i meant yeah so like i i'm part of this business so and i want ufc succeed too so because it makes sense i'm part of this i want a little tool of this if I'm selling the fights, so you see, make money on it, and they pay me, <laughs> so <it> makes sense. <laughs> I see, I see. But to take on a lot of that pressure by, you know, talking a lot of crap, but it doesn't change how much money you make. I hear what you're saying, but then that's when you can negotiate in the next contract and be like, "Hey, a lot of people were excited. I got to get paid a little bit more." So, talk to Uriah. Uriah is a genius. He knows way more, you know, than yeah, ninety percent sure. of I people in MMA. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Maybe, yeah. maybe I have to ask him. See what he says. I'll be curious. Next shit. time we speak, let me know. Okay. If you start talking shit, I'm going to know that Uriah said you need to start talking. <laughs> okay. Hey, <you're> right. <laughs> um, to, to end the interview, cause you have supporters, a lot of them, um, any message to your supporters? No, just thank you very much. Thank you guys. I, I hope you will succeed on your field, wherever you do. And like, I understand two things. Uh, that important first like for sure it's it's i know it's like daddy like everybody keeps saying that but it's true just don't ever stop don't ever give up don't ever don't ever give up it's like really it's the worst thing we can do so worst thing we can do and i i, I really truly believe i'm blessed to be with uriah because a positive mindset like can beat everything as long as you fi can find positivity in any worst situation you still will be stand up strong on your legs or wherever. Just, I, it's, I, fuck, I feel so weird. Like maybe some people don't have a legs, <laughs> but anyway, but you know what I mean? So like, as soon as you're positive, as soon as you're positive, like you're good. Like, so I just recently saw the video. Uh, I believe, oh, I forget who, some actors read this as a, uh, uh, like poetry, but that's actually a song. I think there's a song called Smile and I found it uh, and uh, I just, I don't want to open it up to check because uh, we're probably going to lose the video, but uh, I think it's Smile, something that will smile even if everything bad, smile, this, this is a very strong thing. So just keep it in mind, doesn't matter how bad is it, it is like smile and like let no, let know like the whole world, you, like you're still okay. You're still, you're still not cool. You're still winner. I hear you. Yeah, smile on the outside, and and even if people aren't necessarily looking at you, you're showing the world, right, that you're happy, you're positive, manifesting yeah, you. good things. I'm yeah. not quit. I'm still happy. I'm right. still happy. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. I love that. All right, well, thank you, Slava. I appreciate the time as always. And, of course, I'll be looking out for the next fight, man. Congrats again. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Always nice to talk to you.